Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. The police in Imo State say they have arrested Mr. Chiwendo Wangu, suspected leader of the gang that killed Mr. Ahmed Gulak, a former presidential aide. Spokesperson of the police in Imo, CSP Michael Abatam said this, said this while parading the suspect at the command's headquarters in Oweri on Wednesday. Abatam said that Wangu popularly known as Onyame confessed to joining the Nigerian army in 2013 but left in 2021 and later joined the Eastern Security Network, ESN, the armed wing of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. He said, the, he said that Wangu further confessed to leading the gang that attacked offices of the Independent National, National Electoral Commission, INEC, in Ite Oboma and Isi Alamba North Council area as well as the state's headquarters in Oweri. According to him, Wangu was arrested at his country home in Nguru, a Bombisi council area of the state, on December 25th. He also said that the suspect confessed to the use of black magic to prevent bullets from penetrating his body, adding that several, time, several items were recovered from his home up upon his arrest. Abatam listed the items, to include five pump action guns, four locally made pistols, two cut to size double barrel guns, 50 rounds of live cartridges, locally made hand grenade, and ESN regalia. He rose to become commander in the ESN and personally confessed to have trained over 100 persons in IPOB. He also confessed to have been part of those who burnt police stations INEC offices and killed several innocent people. He confessed to a recent kidnap of expatriate engineer along the Umuna Okigwe Road, mother of a native doctor, mother of a native native doctor in Nguru, Abombise Council area of Imo, and killing of a police inspector and a police sergeant in Abombise Police Station. He confessed to leading the burning of several police stations the killing of a truck driver along Mbise Road, attack of over a correctional center and police headquarters in Imo State, he said. Abatam added that Wangu, who, conf who confirmed his involvement in the killing of Gulak, said his paymaster includes some traditional rulers, had deserted him and declared him wanted. He added that he had been praying to come in contact with security operatives whom he believed would spare his life and give him a chance to legally defend himself. He said, when my gang members shot Gulak, the bullet didn't penetrate, penetrate his body, so I came down from our vehicle, removed the rings on his finger and shot him before the bullet eventually penetrated. He fell to the ground and died, he said. Thank you so much for listening and don't forget to like my video and also subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to drop your thoughts at the comment section. Thank you so much and compliments.